In this video, I'll show you how to scan your passport on your Mac. It could be a Mac mini, MacBook, Mac Pro, whatever Mac, iMac you have, it will work. So let's get started. The first thing is to open the lid of your scanner and you're going to place your passport. To know where to place it is very simple. Every printer scanner or scanner has this small symbol in one of the corner. All you have to do is to bring the scanner not on the edge here, but just leave about an inch around the passport itself. And also it means that the text here needs to be from this side to down there, you see? So you need to place it upside down if you're looking the way I'm looking at it right now. Close the lid and connect it by USB. You can also do it wirelessly, but it really depends which brand you have. On your Mac, you need to go into System Preferences, which look like this. Then you need to go into Printers and Scanners over here. Once you're there, if your scanner or printer scanner is not in the list here, you'll need to add it by clicking the small plus button here. And here in the list that will pop up, you should see your printer being listed. You, all you have to do is to click on it. Mine is already there. And press the add button. Once you do this, it's going to be on the list. Once you're done this, you're going to select the printer or scanner. And then up here, you're going to see scan. You're going to click on it. Then you're going to click on open scanner. It will give you a preview of your scanned passport. This is not safe. This is just a preview. And now what you're going to have to do is to go in this settings on the right side. I'm going to select color if it's not selected. Resolution to 300 dpi. You can have a lower resolution here or a highest one, but 300 for any passport is more than enough to see every details. Then you're going to select custom size. If it's not selected, just click and it will check. You're going to take this edge over here and you're going to drag it right around here. You don't need to be exactly on the edge of the passport. It's better to get, give a small gap around it. Leave it this way. Now, next step is to select where you want this scan to go. If you want it to go in pictures, just leave it there. If not, you can select any folders in your computer. Then you're going to give it a name, anything you want. Format, depending what you intend to do with the scan, you're going to choose JPEG or PDF. It's up to you. I'll leave it at PDF. Now, what's nice about this is if you want to scan multiple pages of your passport, so if these two ones here is not enough, you want to scan the whole passport, you're going to press this small check mark here. I mean, if it's not checked, but you just have to check it, combine into single document. This will mean that every time you're going to press scan, it will combine all the scan in one single PDF file that you can share. But in my case, I just want this page, so I'll uncheck it. Image correction, don't touch this, it's perfectly fine like this. Before pressing the scan button, put your hand over the scan lid and press gently. This way the document won't be blurry. Keep your hand pressed for the whole duration of the scan. Now all you have to do is to press the scan button. It will take a few seconds, depending on the speed of your scanner. Once you're done, you're going to go in the folder that you just selected. In my case, it's picture. And you're going to see the scan of your passport over here. It's a PDF file in my case. So this is it. I hope this was useful. Please leave a like and even comment. See you in the next one.